He's going to die. <laughs> cool, you didn't have to say that out loud. <laughs>
Solus confirms the heavens are scarred by the Khan. Thank the God. We've reports of lingering rifts and many questions. All right, remain. well, it's but better than nothing. You know what I mean? Word of your heroism has spread. But it wasn't me. It was. It was all of us, not even just the mark, all of us getting together, so... Uh-oh. Great. Great, guys. What the, we must what the hell? The How many people are coming? How fast are these things walking, actually? Why would it be this easy, you know what I mean? Everybody's freaking out. Oh my gosh. I wonder who's at the gate. One watch guard reporting. A massive force, the bulk over the mountain. Under what banner? Right. None. None? Is it the Brothers Without Banners? Is that what's going on? Uh. I can't get in unless <gasps> <Yay>! you <open. laughs> It's another companion, guys. Yay, this one. Cole! I'm Cole. I came to warn you, to help. People I love Paul's hat. You. you probably already know. What is this? What's going on? The Templars come to kill you. Templars? Is oh, Colin, please calm down. All right. With the mages attacking blindly. The Red Templars went to the Elder One. This is the reveal. No. Here he is. This is the villain of Dragon Age Inquisition. Do you recognize this guy? Because I sure as hell do. If you play Dragon Age 2 in the DLC, Come, you'll know who that is. Haven is no fortress. If we are to withstand this monster, we must control the battle. So, everything has a consequence. Since I picked the mages, it seems the Elder One decided to take the Templars instead. And that's not a good thing, because now we're fucked. Because they're Red Templars. Also, we met a new character named Cole, the one with the cool hat. What do you guys think of him so far? He kind of talks a little bit weird, doesn't he? Before we- <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna put in this part in the next one, I don't know. I want everybody to take a guess of what you think Cole is or is like. You can take that any way you want, but I'm just curious about what people think about him. I love Cole, personally. <laughs> I think I love every, like, in <laughs> Inquisition member, if I'm being completely honest. Anyway, so now we're finding red Templars. Look at that thing. Something looks wrong with it, right? That's not right. But if anybody doesn't know what a red Templar is, these Templars, instead of ingesting like regular lyrium, they're ingesting red lyrium, which is like the stuff that Varric was talking about earlier, how it makes people like go crazy and stuff. So there are certain types of red Templars. There's like a red Templar horror, which is like, fragments or like shards of like red lyrium is growing out of their body so it looks like a fungus kind of if you played like uh the last of us and you know how like i i think they're called the clickers right i can't remember I, the clickers where they have like fungus growing out of their heads and pretty much they're like controlled by um that virus or that fungus or whatever you want to call it it's kind of like that for the red templars Cass can handle herself. Luckily, she's a tank, so I'm not really too worried about her getting hurt. I'm worried about, like, Varric. Oh, fuck. We got, it's gotta get turned. Gotta get turned up in here. Is that how you say it? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Take that, you assholes. Come on, that's gotta work, right? We gotta cause an avalanche and, like, just evaporate everybody. The hell? Wow! Oh god, look what that is! What is that? A dragon! Great. Alright, we gotta get the hell out of here. And we gotta help some people. Where's the dragon? I don't think that gate's gonna hold a dragon though, Cullen. We need everyone back to the chantry. It's the only building that might hold against that beast. We gotta save all these people. I am not letting anybody die. Hey, you leave them alone. Come on, you have to get out of here. Are you getting out? Alright, good. Okay, okay. They're getting out. That's good, that's good. Alright. Let's get rid of these assholes. 
You know what's scary to think about? If Cullen didn't leave the Templars, because his rank was Templar, Templar Knight, right? Or Captain? He could have been one of these guys. That's kind of scary to think about. And I wouldn't want that kind of faith for Cullen because he's been through so much and it's kind of scary. Did you see how Solus was running? <laughs> okay, as much as I don't like Chancellor Roderick. He tried oh. to stop the Templar. The blade went deep. He's going to die. <laughs> Cole, you didn't have to say that out loud. Oh if he wants me, then I can just like sacrifice myself. I, I like to think I'd be noble. Ah, <laughs> so it disapproves. You can have me. It won't. He wants to kill you. No one else matters, but he'll crush them. Kill them anyway. <laughs> I don't like him either, Cole. There is a path. You wouldn't know it unless you've made the summer pilgrim. As I have. The people can escape. She must have shown me. Andraste must have shown me so I can t tell you. Possibly. If he shows us the path. But what if you're escaped? I'll be fine. I think. Perhaps you will surprise me. Oh, oh, I like how Colin's trying to be positive. Oh, you sweetheart. Night Captain. This is what I was talking about earlier. This could have been Cullen because he was Knight Captain before all of this. When, oh Jesus, when he was in the Templars. And see how badly the Red Lyrium is affecting him? But our plan right now is to get the trebuchet to turn towards the mountain in order to cause an avalanche so that we can, you know, get rid of all those Templars over there. Alright, Elia. Let's do this. Can take down that goddamn dragon. Run, you guys! You gotta get out of here! Is it? Is it spouting out like red lyrium? What is it doing? Here we go. Here's the villain of Dragon Age Inquisition. Oh, uh, you look so beautiful. So sexy. Look at him. Oh great, his dragon is here too! Hi dragon! Somebody called Daenerys Targaryen because like, this is getting ridiculous. Enough. This is the man with the sexy voice, but he doesn't look so sexy. He looks like a hot to mess. <laughs> you toy with forces beyond your ken, no more. Uh, excuse me? I don't fear you, you jerk! Whatever you are, I'm not afraid. Exalt the Elder One. The will that is Corypheus. Corypheus from Dragon Age 2! You will kneel. I won't kneel. You will resist. You will always resist. It matters. What the hell's that? In his hand, did you see that? I am here to anchor. The process of removing it begins now. Fuck! So that orb is connected to my mark. It is your fault, Geralt. Is it my you fault? You interrupted a ritual years in the planning, and instead of dying, you stole its purpose. Oh no, Elia! I do not know how you survived, but what marks you was touched, what you flail at rifts, I crafted to assault the very heavens. Uh oh. What is this thing meant to do? It is meant to bring certainty where there is none. For you, the certainty that I would always come for it. Damn, how bi how fucking big is Corypheus? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm so tiny compared to him. I found only chaos and corruption, dead whispers. For a thousand years I was confused, no more. For I have seen the throne of the gods, and it was empty. Uh-oh. So this guy just wants to be a god. Like every fucking villain. <laughs> Signal! They're out! Everybody's safe! And you. I will not suffer even an unknowing arrival. You must die. Alright, well... If you're, gonna, if you're gonna get fucked, I'll take you with me. You know what? You're an arrogant fool. Your arrogance blinds you. Good to know. If I'm dying... It's not today! Fuck yeah, see you later, you asshole! 
I like how they're still staring at like what they expect to happen. Come on, it's an avalanche. See ya! Well, you know, at least we got out of there. <laughs> <laughs>